With the recent release of GPT-40, which has built-in vision capabilities, there are many potential use cases for this model. One particularly useful application I've come across is a vision-based scraper. As the need for web scraping increases due to the training of these LLMs and for other data reasons, companies continue to implement new barriers in order to protect their data. This vision-based approach bypasses traditional scraping barriers by interpreting and extracting data from a screenshot just like a human would. Okay, so the goal is that by the end of this video, you'll be able to build a fully functional vision-based scraper on make.com that extracts data from a screenshot using this new model. Okay, so we'll start off in make.com and we'll just create a new scenario. We can call this vision based scraper. And now the way I'm structuring my scraper is I basically want it to go on a company profile on LinkedIn and gather a few key points of information. So I would like it to get uh, the company name, the location, the how many followers they have on LinkedIn, their employees and their website. So all the information that we would like to get is available in the UI and therefore when our tool scrapes and screenshots this page, um, GPT-40 will be able to extract that information. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with a watch new rows and I'll connect this to my spreadsheet. Okay, so I've connected my spreadsheet and now what we're gonna wanna do next is basically to take this URL right here and actually access it from a different computer from a kind of server and then take a screenshot of that so then we can that so then we can take that screenshot and pass it into the gpt40 model so in order to do that i'm going to use a tool called scraping b you can use this tool to take a screenshot at a url so what we would do is just go within the url section here and put in this linkedin company profile because that's what header has my urls now i'm also i will also screenshot the full page I will also change this to 720 by 1280 just to reduce the price a little bit. And within advanced settings, I'm going to block ads, not block resources. And in a second, I'm going to show you because right now, if I just took this LinkedIn company profile and tried to use scraping B to access it and take a screenshot of it, it would just simply come up with the link then sign in page as there are no cookies and LinkedIn will just be like, oh, please, can you sign in? So I'm gonna show you how to get around that in a second. The next thing I'm gonna do as well is I'm just gonna add a one second wait so that we so that our page loads for before we screenshot it. So if I were to show you what I mean when it comes to this cookie stuff, if I were to open this and I were to clear my cookies, so I wasn't logged in to um, LinkedIn and I just reload the page, as you can see, the link just takes me to uh, the login. So only once I've logged in will the page actually display the content. So what we'll do is we'll log in again and I just have an extension uh, which basically just captures all the cookies and I just export it as a header string and then what I'll do is actually paste that within this cookie section right there. Okay so that scraping B module is all set up. Now, the next thing we're gonna to need to do is now actually just take that screenshot and pass it over to GPT-40. So make.com currently doesn't have um, the ability to just pass images into the completion uh, like function within the OpenAI module. You can use analyze images, but as you can see, it's only turbo and GPT-4 vision and stuff like that, but we wanna use GPT-40. So what we can do is actually just perform an arbitrary API call. And I'll, I'll show you right now how to structure this API call so that we're getting the right results. What I've done is I've gone into the OpenAI Playground and basically created a system prompt, first of all, of this um, web scraper to make sure that it's giving me the correct outputs. So as you can see here, I've just said, you are a web scraper, take a, you take a screenshot, analyze it and extract the specified data. Do not add this little three comma JSON because I was finding it was doing that a lot. And then I told it what data I'm gonna give it. Here's an example, um, do not add co comments. And I'm then just like an emotional prompt, which is like your compliance and accuracy is vital to my job. I inputted a screenshot myself manually at first to um, check if this prompt is good. And as you can see, the result is exactly what we wanted. So that is good. Now, what we can do is basically view the code of this um, 
like playground message and we can just copy this and paste it within make.com so we can just chuck it into the body now what i'm going to do is delete this huge file url because this isn't the file we are working with anymore so we can delete that all the way there okay and now within this file url you, you get this screenshot from scraping b but the GPT-40 model wants the images encoded in base64. So what we have to do within make.com is basically just go up here and put on this base64 and then within that chuck in the screenshot mod uh, screenshot value. So that will work perfectly fine. Now the only other thing we're going to have to change is this put this to post and in here we can just pay, copy this up here for the URL that this API request will be sent to. Apart from that, nothing else has to be changed. So that is good. Now, the next thing will be is to basically pass the response we get from GPT-40 into separate variables so that we can then populate that within the Google Sheet. Now, I'm only doing five as an example, but you could do this with thousands of company profiles or whatever your use case is for this vision-based scraping. Back to what I was saying though, we're gonna to have to pass the JSON. So what I'm gonna do is create a pass JSON module. And what I will also do is just run this again. So we have a example output one more time. And what I can do is just copy this and then chuck it into make and just generate a data structure, which is like what the data will look like. And as you can see, that's save that. And then the JSON string will be the um, it will be the open AI output, but currently we don't have any because we've never run the output yet. So we're going to have to run this module one time before we do that. Or in fact, I'll just put in this for now, um, instead. And then what I'll do is I'll go into Google sheets. I will update a row and then I will select my spreadsheet. Once you've selected your spreadsheet, the row number is simple, just make that row number. And then the company profile is what we need. So that doesn't change. Then these go into the headers, which is self-explanatory. So what I'll do is just limit this to one. So it only runs once for now. Okay, so we'll run this, see if there's any errors, make sure everything's looking good. Okay, so we've got a successful run, it seems. Let's check that. Okay, so we've got everything here, which is good. Only thing I'm going to do is make this a bit bigger. That was kind of a test run because I made the JSON string just that. So what now I can do is now that I've run it once, as you can see, I have this whole list of different choices. What I'll do is make the message content there, press OK. And now I should be able to run this. I'm just going to change the limit to five. I should be able to run this and it will do it every time. So now it's taking a screenshot of the next one. So the next one will be, it will be what profile? It's zapier.com. So now it's basically gonna take a screenshot of this and GPT-40 will analyze the image in order to get the um, data and it will then populate that within um, the spreadsheet. So as you can see, next one is done. San Francisco, Cis oh. San Francisco CA is the location, 213,000 followers, 501 employees. This is the website. That's the company name. OpenAI has just finished as well. And it basically does this whole time. And what I'll do is I'll just find one more profile just to show you um, that I can basically input anything and it is able to deal with that completely fine. Once this is finished running and has all five done. Okay, there we go. So all five are done. The scenario is done. And what I'll do is just add one more. This one is for the notion and I will run the scenario one more time just so, so we can see that it's working completely fine. And boom, name is notion, San Francisco, 576,000 followers, 501 employees, and the website is notion. So, so that's how you build a vision based scraper. Basically, you use a, a tool to screenshot at a specific URL. And then we use GPT-40 within Make to um, analyze that image and extract that image. Then we pass that, ex sorry, extract data from that image. Then we pass that data 
and then we update our rows based off that data. It took me a second to figure out this base64 part, so I think that's really where the value of this video comes from, to be honest, because I couldn't find how to do this in Make for a while, and then I figured this out, and that basically unlocked the GPT-40 vision within Make.com, which is really useful. Now, I will say that this um, example I've given is a little bit futile, as I'm pretty sure you can scrape uh, LinkedIn company profiles quite easily. The system that they have isn't too difficult to bypass, but I wanted to show off the capability of this um, more than anything with just a simple example. 